Hey everyone, I'm here with a slightly different video from the usual, but if you're okay with listening to my crappy voice and hear me talk about a tablet, then please stick around. But before I get into anything else, I want to mention that this video is brought to you by Gaumon, a very kind drawing tablet company that gave me one of their products to review. In the beginning of March, I was contacted by one of their employees asking if I would be willing to receive one of their display tablets and review it on my channel. I was and still am really thrilled about being given this amazing opportunity, and I'm excited to share with you guys my experience with the Gaumon PD1560. You can check out this tablet and many other Gaumon products at their website, which I will put a link to in the description. There, I will also add discount codes that you guys can use to get some of these amazing devices yourself at a decent price compared to other companies. I'll get more into that, but first, let's get into this review, shall we? When I opened the package containing the display tablet, it came with a fancy glove to help from damaging the screen when drawing, a pen, pen holder with extra nibs, pen charger, tablet cover for when traveling and such, and a screwdriver to help connect the stand to the tablet. I found this extra helpful because I actually didn't have a screwdriver myself. After setting everything up, I plugged everything in and installed the drivers. One thing that I found that was really convenient is that when I installed the drivers, I didn't have to restart my computer like I would have to do with my old Wacom capture tablet. It was really nice, and everything was just ready to go. It took me a while to get used to the 10 shortcut keys on the tablet, but once I got the hang of it, it was really easy and nice to use. The pen has 8,192 levels of sensitivity, which is a major upgrade from what I had on my previous tablet. It's a lot easier to make pen strokes look how I want them to, and it feels a lot smoother to draw with. Luckily, the drivers were compatible with Psy. I've been seeing that a lot of other brands of tablet drivers sometimes aren't, and I love using Psy. I would hate to have to change programs because of this new upgrade. It's also compatible with Photoshop, Sketchbook Pro, Metabang, and many others. However, with every product, there are some downsides to it. Luckily, there aren't that many for this one. The only real problems that I see with it is maybe when I'm done drawing, I'll unplug it and set it aside and move on to playing a game like Fable or Overwatch, and my frame rate will be significantly low. The only way to fix this is to restart my computer, and it only happens if I happen to use the tablet that day. I also notice that I have to install the drivers every time I restart my computer, which is easy. It's just annoying. Speaking personally though, I love this tablet. It's much bigger than my older one, and I can draw a lot more accurately and easier. I'm extremely happy to have it, and if you get the chance to, I totally recommend this to you for your first display tablet. If you're more into stats, then you can check this baby out more on the Gaumon website. And, like I said, the link for it will be in the description. The current going price for the PD1560 is $460, but with this special discount code, you'll be able to see on the screen, and will be in the description, you can get it for $359 until the 15th of April. If you're having trouble figuring out how to input the discount code, make sure to contact support by looking at the Gaumon service team on their website. Thank you everyone for watching, and thank you Gaumon for giving me this opportunity to use one of your top-notch products. Expect more detailed art from me in the future, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye